Hi, hello, one I come and welcome back to yet another episode on Little Sla YouTube channel. And this video is a video which previously I have made. So this video is on uh, this particular video. So this is again an apology video because I have made a blunder mistake while calculating the response times. And uh, thanks again, uh, the nature of double four two eight. So this uh, person actually he has come up. Uh, and he gave me the right answer so only after that I have recollected uh, the calculation and then when I did the calculation I found out the right answer so I will uh, bring down this video and on top of this I will try to answer with the proper calculation so let's move on to the video so before that uh, I welcome you all to Little Sly YouTube channel please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you have not subscribed yet so now we will go to the video. I will explain you the question and the steps to arrive the correct answer. And again, once again, thank you uh, for bringing this to my attention and another big apologies to everyone uh, for bringing the mistake in my video. So now moving back to the video where we have the question here. So the question again is, we have two users who are completing 50 transactions per second of a one second. So what should be the response time for single transaction? So when we go to the next slide, so which is where we use the little slab formula where the number of users is equal to throughput multiplied by the response time plus think time if we have any. So in this scenario, we have the number of users as two. So we have two users as I have mentioned in the question. So we have two users who are completing 50 transactions per second, which is the throughput, which is 50 transactions for every second. And the response time is what we want to find. So when we bring down the formula, we have number of users as N, which is equal to the throughput, which is multiplied by the response time plus the think time. So here in this scenario, we do not have anything time. We just have to find only the response time. So we are substituting the value, which is the number two, which is equal to 50 multiplied by the response time. And by solving for the response time, which is R is equal to two divided by 50. So two is the number of users and 50 is the number of transactions per second. So totally we have got 0 0.04 seconds so that is the response time for each transaction and only if we achieve the response time in that rate which is in the 0 0.04 second rate only then two users can achieve 50 transactions per second for each user so according to the little slot the response time for a single transaction is 0 0.04 seconds or 40 milliseconds so it seems there was an error in my initial response that is in my previous video I and I appreciate all of your patience. So the correct calculation using the little slot gives a response time of 40 milliseconds. So thanks again. Thanks everyone for watching the previous video and again I would like to thank the person who has uh, highlighted the mistake which I have made and again uh, I would like to thank everyone. Uh, please keep watching my video if there are any mistakes or if there are any good things which you really like in the video please do comment in the feedback section in the comment section so thanks again so until i meet you in another interesting video it's bye bye from Shanmugam and little slav